Hi, I'm Kruno. Thanks for watching Eplin Essentials. Have you ever placed routing paths to connect two mounting surfaces? How certain are you that the connection going through this routing path has the exact length? In today's video, I'm going to talk about the problem and the solution to this challenge. Alright, let's talk first about routing paths. Routing paths are part of the routing path network. The routing path network is necessary to complete the route functionality in ePlan Pro Panel. Beside routing paths, you can use wire ducts, routing ranges, wiring cutouts, and curves to complete the routing path network. Complete the routing path network is necessary to execute the route functionality as you can see here. Let's take a now a closer look at the routing path. If we enter the properties of the routing path, we see this routing path has a length. It's a point-to-point -point length of 482 millimeters. A true length is probably longer than that because you have a bending in real life. How much longer is it? We don't know at this time, but we have a couple of solutions to fix this. In ePlan, you have three ways of now adding a length to it and getting closer to the exact length. One way will be just adding here a length instead. That means you can now say, okay, instead of 482, let's say 510 millimeters is my real length. This will now add 510 millimeters to every wire which goes through this segment. An additional option to this will be to add a global extra length. Solutions here will get us an approximate length and we are not sure if the wire length is the real wire length. Okay? In order to get the real length of this segment, we will probably need to use the curve functionality. And that's the topic of this video. Okay, so just remember now, I've used here 482 millimeters and my approximate value was 510 millimeters. I will delete now this routing path and place a curve. For this, we will go to view View from the back, come a little bit closer, go to insert, next routing path you can find curve. Hold the shift button to skip the mounting surface jump and attach to the routing path where we would like to start the curve. First point, press here. The second point is the control point. I would recommend you to just place it right below um, the first point. The benefit of this is you don't have to move this axis afterwards to align it. So just place it right below. And now we can here click on the mounting panel, show selection. And if we click on view southeast isometric, we can complete the curve by selecting the point where we would like the curve to go. With right mouse click, complete curve, the curve is now drawn. If we take a look from the right side, we see the curve has already now a bending inside and is formed. Let's take a look at the property of this curve right now. You see, the length of this curve is now 595 millimeters, which is over 100 millimeters longer than the routing path originally was, right? So that means this is probably now the exact length of this wire segment, which is routed here through. If you are not happy with the shape of this curve, you can now change the curve round. This can be done very easy by pressing edit, change curve round. I had already the curve selected, so 
uh, now I can just select a point which I would like to move. Here are a couple of interesting topics. As you see, when I'm zooming closer, you have green arrows for the three axes, which essentially says in which axis you would like to move the position. As well, if I'm uh, zooming here in and pressing in the middle, you see a orange square. As soon as the orange square is there, you will move all three axes at the same time. This I will not recommend you because it's very hard to move in three axes with just a mouse, right? So please, if you use the change curve run functionality, always use one axis at a time. In this example, I will use the Z axis first, just as an example. And now I will use the Y axis. Also here, very important, please don't select the curve at itself, otherwise you will change the endpoint of the curve, right? Select always the arrow. By selecting the arrow, we are moving the curve to that position where we would like to. So as you see now, a very nice bending. Maybe it's a little bit too low, so I'll just move it like this, okay? And as you can see, if I double click here, it's always adjusting the segment length to the real authentic length. And the best thing, of course, if I click now back to the door, and if I route the wire again, it routes the wire through the curve. This wraps up today's ePlan Essentials video. Have you ever used curves before? Or will you use it in the future? Let me know your experience in the comments. If you found the video beneficial, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Also, share it in your community. Until the next time, Uncle Kruno signed out.